Hello, this is Alicia McPherson, and I'm going to review the games and simulation methodology for you today. What are games? Games can also be referred to as exercises or activities. And these exercises, activities, or games are used to promote skill development within your training. And it's helpful for the game formats to be from popular game shows on TV or board games. And keep that in mind as you take into consideration if you will be using a game exercise activity in your training session. If you have decided to choose a game for your training session, the next step in deciding on what kind of game you should choose is to see if there is an existing game that has a format that you can easily transition into something that is related to your training, or you can decide that you would like to create an entirely new game specifically tailored to your training session. If you have decided to use an existing game, by using this existing game, your learners will have already have a sense of the game and how it is played, but by using an existing game, you have to evaluate this existing game and just sort of see what is the game's objective. Is there some way for the game to achieve the learning point that you want to make? Are the instructions for the game clear? Are there rules on how the game is usually played? What materials are going to be required to play the game? Is there a risk for the participants? What is the payoff that in the time that is spent on the game during your training session? And also, are there any costs with this game? Is it something you can easily transition into some into relevant materials for your training session? If you decide to design your own game, there is a checklist that goes along with designing your own game. And I think the checklist is helpful to have as far as a reference point for designing this game and making sure that it stays relevant to the training itself that you're conducting. Um, some of the checklist items that I found helpful were behavioral objectives, is in asking yourself, is this game a best method to be used for the training session? What kind of format are you going to have for the game? Whether that be a puzzle, exercise, or a board game that you're creating. Also review any existing resources. Is there something else available to you that is relevant and you could use in your training versus creating your own game? What are the learner's motivations to play this game? And also take into consideration that learners might be resistant to be involved in the game. And that goes for both designing your own game and playing an existing game. But it, I think it's more relevant to designing the game because you're creating it and you don't wanna put in the extra time into creating a game and not really consider art learners going to be willing part, willing participants do they have motivation to play just sort of coming along with designing and taking the time out of your schedule to book into not only creating the training but creating this game for the training session so i think that's where you're leveraging is there an existing game that kind of has the same purposes that i want versus designing my own that i have to create and spend extra time on for the training session. Now that we've reviewed the existing game or designing your own game, we need to review the type of games there are. First type of game there is our quiz. And there's many familiar models on television game shows that are a quiz type of format and those can be Jeopardy, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, um, and those kinds of games can be either played in teams or individuals, and a quiz can help re with the learners recalling facts and help the learners practice new skills. 
So by selecting a quiz, you'll be either asking the learners to recall information that was already given during the training session, or you could maybe give them a quiz at the beginning of your session to sort of gauge where their knowledge is at the beginning of the training session, and then maybe give them a post one um, following the session or maybe sometime during the session to just sort of see if they've gained more knowledge um, or if they still are lacking in what exactly you've trained them on. And so they'll either be required to memorize or help see how fast that they can recall information that you have given throughout your training session when once you pose the quiz to them and by splitting up the learners whether that be in small groups or you want to just individually quiz them that's something that would you take into consideration to see how many learners you have for your training session but also too these quizzes can help the learners practice new skills by applying the information correctly so the quiz will ask the question and you'll give them a multiple choice or maybe true false and by asking the learners to identify the correct answer you're going to help them build the skill of applying the correct answer and hopefully they can retain that and take that back to them in their work environment. Here we have a board game, which is also another kind of common game to use for training sessions. And this can also be given in teams or individually. And this type of game helps recall knowledge for the learners and also helps the learners demonstrate the skill. For example, if you're playing a board game and it requires cards to be drawn, these cards could direct the player or amp or learner to do a certain task that maybe you have trained them on in that training session. So by using this type of board game, the learner is automatically applying what they've learned or they should be applying what they've learned in the session to this game and help them win the game. Another kind of common game would be a decision making game and these kinds of games can be useful for team building and manager training and these games can help the learners identify their style and skill in making business decisions and you have the added benefit of imitating a real concept within your game. So when you're using decision-making games, you're allowing your learners to imitate the real life concept at a low risk environment. And they have the valuable training tools with them there during the training session. So the decision-making game can be used to help the learners make quick decisions or to be considered and to study decisions. And these often help with making business decisions that they would apply in the real world for business. The objectives and learning points taught by decision-making games can include identifying the value of individual decisions versus the group decisions. You also can identify the difference between quick versus considered decisions and allowing your learners to help predict how they might act in during crisis. And so this could be very beneficial to the teams of managers and um, also identifying maybe some gaps in your team where everyone might be aligned on certain decision making, but there's other people who might feel differently about it. And then when you're doing the manager training, it's very crucial for managers to have a sense of how they're going to 
make a decision, whether that be quick or how long they'll take to do maybe a considered decision making. So this is a really great game for that type of training, specifically tailored to managers or, and, or anyone in a supervisory position to help explore those kind of decisions in a game format during your training session. After you've conducted your game during your training session, it's important to gain feedback from the learners themselves and whether that be a, a post survey or a survey they've taken at the end of the training. Um, but it's important to capture what they felt about the game and so some things to take into consideration would be to have the learner share their reactions and to have them let you know what helped them be successful during the game, what held them back, what did not help them, were they surprised about the game, were the results of the game significant, and another way is to have the learners identify the concepts of the game what was the point of the game? Did they learn anything new about themselves during the game? Or maybe if it was a team game, did they learn anything new about their teammates? And is there anything important that they've taken away from how the game was played? And that also too, can the learners apply what is learned in the game? So how will the learner use this information? How will the learner use the results of the game? And to what extent does the game reflect on the learner's work-life reality? I, th I think it's important to capture exactly how relevant the game was and if it helped enhance the learning that was given throughout the entire training session. Now that I've reviewed what the game is, if you should create your own game or use an existing game and the different types of common games, I think it's great to consider a game for your next training session. But also to also think about what about the game is going to help your learners enhance their learning during the training session. And is it right for your training session? Because not Every training session needs a game, but it's definitely a great enhancement tool for your training session. And thank you for listening.